Good evening and welcome to our Saturday evening edition of our devotions that we do here at St. Paul's. Our evening devotion tonight focuses on the almighty power of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And it focuses on that power which he put into practice while he was walking here on this earth. And we focus and find our comfort in the fact that now that Jesus is ascended into heaven, he has taken up full use of all of his almighty power. Our lesson today is from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 and following. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. I think you and I can very well relate to the disciples in our lesson. Now granted, maybe none of us were ever in the middle of a windstorm on the middle of Lake Koshkanon facing six-foot breakers over our boat, but maybe, just maybe, we can look at what we are going through right now and realize that it's very similar that in our lives we're dealing with a pandemic and we're dealing with a situation, much like those disciples did, a situation that is totally outside of our control and we don't know what to do and we're trying to figure out what is the best thing we can do. And I know I have prayed many times to my Lord, Lord, what shall we do? I know with opening church, it's a prayer that I, along with the leadership of St. Paul's, has asked time and time again, Lord, what should we do? How should we do these things? But in the end, my encouragement, God's encouragement, and what we read today as encouragement is that we put our faith in the Lord. That we make wise choices based on the information that we have, but we trust in the Lord. Because I'm guessing that some of us wonder, Lord, don't you care if we die? If I go out, I might get the virus. I might then spread the virus. I might then hurt people I love. I might do something that I may regret. And all of these statements could very well be true. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had the virus nor do I know if I've ever given it to someone else. I don't know these things, and for many of us, we don't either. And so it's important for us to look at what God shows us in his word today in our lesson and say, I will instead trust in you. That I will realize that I cannot control the things of this world. I cannot control whether or not I get sick or how to get over my sickness. All I do is leave that in the capable hands of my Lord Jesus. Now, I know that's not a very easy thing for us to do. A lot of us would like to feel as if we are in control of many things, that we can control when we will get ill or not get ill, whether it is how often we touch our face or how often we wash our hands or how much we distance ourselves from other people, all of these different things. These are just precautions that we are willing to take and willing to do to help other people. But will it guarantee us that we won't get sick? No, it won't. There is no guarantee on this world. Illness is part of this world. But we also know that our Lord Jesus looks to us and says, I'm here. It will be okay. I will guard you. I will protect you. I will be with you. I'm not going to leave you. If you get ill, I will help you through it. If this illness brings you to heaven's gate, I will welcome you. It's okay, my friends. The Lord Jesus, who has power over the winds and the waves, ascended to the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, and he is there 
ruling over all things. And so I understand what it's like to be like one of the disciples, completely petrified over what we are incapable of controlling. But we do know who's in control. The same one who in our lesson said, quiet, be still, and the wind stopped blowing and the waves stopped crashing. Our Lord Jesus is in control of these things as well. So I invite you to come and hear more about this message tomorrow as we look at Esther chapter 6 in church. We will do all things to make sure that we distance ourselves and do all things according to our wisdom, but we know who is in control. The Lord God Almighty, who has sent his Son into this world to be our Savior, who died on the cross for our sins, who rose victoriously on Easter Sunday, the one who said to the winds and the waves, be still, be quiet, and the one who looked at the devil and said, you lost, I win, and the one who said to death, you cannot hold me, he is the one who is with us, walking with us, guarding us, and keeping us all safe. So I hope to see you, my friends. If not, that is okay. We have also released the video that if you feel unsafe at this time, the Lord will bless you as you worship him with a video that will be released on Sunday morning. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, quell our fears. Quell all of the fears of all of the things that are outside of our control and help us understand and trust that you are in control and you are our God, our loving Savior. You have all things in your control for the good of those who love him. Help us trust in you. The same God who saves us from our sins is the same God who will take care of us in every situation. Help us have confidence in this promise. We ask this in your name, dear Jesus, and in your name we join to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God be with you until we meet again. And I pray that that time for all of you is very soon so that we can partake of the Christian fellowship that we all long for and need. May you have a blessed night.